This next episode of Overlooked History is about the Empire State Building plane crash. On July 25, 1945, a B-25 bomber took off from New Bedford, Massachusetts, destined for LaGuardia Airport. The pilot was William F. Smith, who had served as a pilot overseas in Europe. The bomber soon approached New York, and a heavy fog covered the city. The tower at LaGuardia Airport suggested that the plane had not land at the airport, and fly away from Manhattan area to land at Newark Airport. Smith ignored the advice and carried on towards LaGuardia. He nearly crashed into the Chrysler building, but he was able to turn in time. Unfortunately, Smith turned in the direction of the Empire State Building. The plane crashed into the building's 79th floor, and all three men on board the plane were killed. In addition, 11 people inside the building were killed. Witnesses reported flames throughout the upper floors. The fuel from the plane started a fire, trapping hundreds inside the building. In addition, engine pipes reached the elevator shaft, cutting elevator cables. The elevators filled dozens of floors into the sub-basement. An operator inside one of them, named Betty Grew Oliver, survived falling 75 stories inside of an elevator. Today, she's in the Guinness Book of World Records, for the longest fall survived in an elevator. Outside the building, horrified onlookers watched the events unfold. In addition, one of the plane's engines crashed into a penthouse next door. When the smoke had cleared, a 18 by 20 foot hole could be seen in the building's side. The building was still structurally sound, but the plane had cost $1 million worth of damages. Several months after the crash, the US government did offer victims' families money. This was not enough for some, and the crash led to the creation and passing of the Federal Tort Claims Act of 1946, which for the first time in our history allowed citizens to sue the US government. Even though the plane crash is not widely remembered, for the Federal Tort Claims Act, it's had a major impact on our government. Thank you.